Welcome to This Week in White Shorts, where we talk about the news and cards in the White Shorts community. Not a lot to talk about this week, because it's Golden Week in Japan, and they're not doing card of the day. And if you don't know what Golden Week is, it's kind of like the Japanese equivalent of a spring break. Anyways, uh, we got some release dates for the new Love Life sets. Both Muse and Accords are getting support, and that's in August 9th. May 4th to the 31st is another band league, and it's volume... <gasps> It's USA! Yes! USA! 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 Why are they all dressed like the Gochi? Usa. Oh, it's Gochi Usa, not USA. Whatever. Same rules as always with band leagues. You can only use a deck made up of a single band. Enter, you get a pack with one of three cards. And those cards do have foil versions as well, and hey, wait, hold up. There's no afterglow. This is Tokimeki Poporon, Daydream Cafe, and No Poi. Fucking finally, someone has said it. You fucking hear that, Yudachi? No Poi. Fucking bitch. Now let's get into the news that's not White Shores related. But uh, it's kind of like indirectly related. Uh, we are getting Magicka Record, the mobile game. It is coming to English platforms. So that may mean that we are getting the white set. That, my friends, is called speculation. Last bit of news. Guess what we're getting in Buddy Fight. It's not Detective Conan. It's case closed. Licensing issues! June 7th for all you Buddy Fight players. Do I even have any Buddy Fight people watching my videos? It's probably not because it's... Why Shorts channel? Surprise. Whoa, jump cut. Uh, I was in the middle of editing this episode and uh, we got a live stream. Bushiro did a live stream for White Shores and we got some series that got announced. Uh, slime. Yeah, we're getting <laughs> a time I got reincarnated out of Slime, which kind of makes sense because they've been giving us a lot of like official card material, so there's that. We're getting Saikano 2, which Saikano 1 didn't really do anything for the meta, so it's kind of, we're just getting a second set. Contact Collection 4. Ah, oh, fuck. And uh, Review Starlight 2, or re Relive, that's what they're calling it. But yeah, Contact Collection 4, it's gonna come with all the, the newer ships. I know it's uh, the French ship that's gonna be on it. That's in it for sure. Uh, probably Iowa. Holy shit. But uh, yeah, just a quick update. Holy shit. So now that that is all out of the way, let's go into the cards. The first card we're going to look at is actually the first card capture Sakura card that's in JP. It is Happiness Memory Sakura and she gives the character in front of this character discard Encore and it has that herself. Everybody's getting an Encore. It's just a PR so it's nothing really special. We should be expecting more of these in the future. Real quick, we're gonna look at some Fujimi Fantasia Bunko cards. The first ones we actually are covering in this channel, but we have had some revealed like on Twitter and stuff. So let's go do that. Since we don't have a card of the day this week, I'll just run through the two that I didn't cover. Temporary Manager Secretary Isuzu is a two or less climax early drop and gets 1k if you have two or more other characters. And on play for hand, top check your deck, and if it's a character, this turn, it gets Clock Shoot. It is decent, I hate how the Clock Shoot is a gamble effect, but I guess they kinda had to do it cause an early drop Clock Shoot with an 11k base, that's fucking good. So they had to throw in that gamble effect to, you know, make it kinda balanced. Thoughts for older brother Suzuka as a searching brainstorm, and when you trick or check a climax, you give 1k to any of your characters. Soon that a Magic or Girl Haruna is on play, ditch a card, and you could clock, stock, heal, and climax combo. On attack, if you have messy daily life, pay 3, burn 4. <laughs> oh, hey, Saya, welcome back. Crazy Flower Knight Kurumi is on play from hand, pay 1, and you can play a copy of itself from your deck onto the stage. And climax combo. On attack, if you have Journey of Death, perform the following action. If you have 2 or less in your clock, send 1 card from your waiting room to your deck. If you have three or more in your clock, put four cards from the bottom of your opponent's deck into the waiting room and burn for however many climaxes milled. And this card gets 3k power. The climax is a 1k1 and an arch when triggered. Wow, okay. This card, <laughs> this card's fucking good. 
Pay three and you get two of these on the field. If you pay five and you get three of them on the field. I like the three or more in clock effect. That's actually really, really good. The two or less is good as well. You could send in some climaxes from your waiting room back into your deck so you could potentially cancel some damage. But the three or more, that's where this card really shines. First of all, you burn. That's good in itself. But you're also getting rid of those climaxes too. And from the bottom of the deck, that's some nice variety. How about some fake cards? Um, over in this video, I talked about the first three fake cards that we got. It's the Sakura, the Rider, the Rain, and the Archer. And we're actually getting a lot more. Honest King of Night Saber gets 1k with two or more Master or Servant characters on the field. And it's an on-reverse climax combo with Strike Air, where you look up to four cards from the top of your deck, add a Master or Servant, you ditch the rest, and then you choose one of your other characters and they get 2k until the end of the turn. You can give 2k to another copy of itself, that way you're guaranteeing more of a plus. The climax combo is acceptable, it's standard, so it's not too bad. I feel like this effect is getting more and more power crept by the cards that just declare an attack, you do the top four. But this card does get a plus 2k to a character, so I guess because of that extra power boost that you could give out to another one of your characters, they had to put the on reverse effect. Fuyuki's Administrator Rin looks like it has a lot of effects because it does have a lot of effects. This is how you pull a set out from the power creep. Anyway, your opponent can't play events during this card's battle. It gets 2k during the turn. Global 500 for all your Master Servant characters. When you play a Climax, pay 1, top check 4, add a Master Servant character to hand, then you ditch the rest. And you can pay 1 to pop a level 0 or lower character in the front row. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, this is good. The first two effects? Okay. They're fine. You aren't really going to be using them as much. The last two, uh, yes, yes, yes. It's any climax that you play, you could top check four by paying one, which uh, you could use it with this card as well. The pop level zeros are okay. They could help you go for damage a bit quicker if they're just like in the way or something, but you would prefer those level zeros to be on the field for the saber climax combo. The first effect, uh, there are those backups that affect your cards on the field like uh, this one and this one. Or like they don't just give power, they screw up your board in a bit. This card's actually really damn good and it is kind of a clusterfuck in the effects. Like that's a lot to remember but they, I feel like they had to do this just so they could get the set to catch up with everything else. How about a Shiro card? What? No? But, like, this is what it does. It's actually a really, really good card. No? What about a saber that gives all your zeros like, uh, character discard encore? You don't need it? Hmm. Alter Saber has some cards. Cruel King of Knights is a drop search for Master Servant characters. And two or less stock, it gets 1k5. Unyielding Battle gets 1k for each of your opponent's back row in Climax combo. When it reverses an opponent in battle, and you have Excalibur Morgan in your Climax area, you can burn one. Okay, so the climaxes that work for this card are the following three. A red 1k1 gate, that's from this set actually. A plus two soul, two soul trigger from the first fate set. And a yellow stock soul and two soul trigger from fate zero. In this video, I have covered the 00, zero Sakura and the 3-2 Rider. So go ahead and watch that if you haven't yet so you can be caught up. But we do have the climax that works with the Rider. It is a 1k1 and a gold bar when triggered. Kind of expect that honestly. Twisted Everyday Sakura is a climax dig salvage and it costs zero clock shoot bomb. Power of Master Rider gets 1k5 and character discard encore. If you have Priest Sage Flower Sakura in your back row and on play, you can pay one clock yourself and you can search your deck for a Priest Sage Flower or Twisted Everyday Sakura. I do like how each of these three cards work together and how Power of Master can search out the back row card. That way you could just grab it so you could boost itself up. If you already have a Presage Flower Sakura on the field, cool. You can get the Twisted Sakura and thin out your deck even more. And if you already have like a full field, you don't need to play the card. You could just have it in your hand for next turn just in case if your rider does get reversed, you have a card that you could ditch so you could just bring it right back. Those are big brain plays. Like I said, this card's gonna be a hassle to get rid of. Over in Bunny Girl, which is actually out next Friday, we're gonna look at two combos, and the first is Logical Witch Rio, which gets 2k if you have two or more puberty characters and heals on play, and its climax combo is pay three, ditch one, on reverse, restand. With the climax adolescence is a paradox, which is like 1k1 and an arch when triggered. It's a pretty standard restand. Well, that's a tongue twister. 
and I personally like it. And green blue. I can make it. The last set of cards is Slip Through Noraka, which is a climax combo on attack, top check four, add a puberty character and ditch the rest. The climax is Sister Panic and it's a 1k1 and a wind when triggered. And when it is front attack, pay one, sack this card and play Girl That Ran From Home Noraka on the stage where this card was and she can't side attack and during your encore step, if this is in your front row, bounce it back to hand and choose a level zero from your hand, play it where this card was in rest. The climax combo is good on attack, you get a character, it can go up to 5k with the climax which is actually really low and it's really good that this card is not an on reverse climax because you probably wouldn't be getting the effect off. Also the change effect, yeah, it's pretty decent, you can't get a 10k body on board but a pay one for an early drop that isn't going to be on the field for that long is not that good. And it is during your encore step that it bounces back in your hand so you could have it on the field for a bit. And since it's bouncing back into your hand during the encore step, you could crash it into something and that way you're not losing board presence because you're going to get a level zero from your hand, assuming you have a level zero in your hand, which is going to be on the field. Like I said, you're not losing board presence that way. And you're not losing hand size either because you still have that card that you could clock, draw two, or something like that. This would have been a whole lot better if it got the level zero from the waiting room. That way you don't have to hold it onto your hand. Or if it floated into a cost zero character. That way if it has like a cost zero bomb or just a bomb in general, you could have that on the field. Or, hey, why not just float into the one zero Nodoka that let it get on the field in the first place? That would have been great too. Whatever, it's a 6k backup, that's a way to think of it. Those are all the cards and the news that we have for this week and last week. No more double episodes, I promise. At least not for a good while. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more White Shores news and content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And yes, I did, I did get the mat. I did get the mat. Welcome to End Slate. I have a couple videos right over here for you guys to watch. Um, yeah, but first, let me talk about this. Uh, so, match one, my team was called Ajama Trio. Thank you, David, if you're watching this, you're the man. Um, f round one, our opponents didn't show up, so we technically won, we were undefeated. Round two, my match wasn't that bad. I did lose because I was playing like a meta Bang Dream deck and I was playing my Afterglow deck. Uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a deck profile. I know uh, base damage actually just did a deck profile of his afterglow deck Our decks are different and I do they are very very similar and I do know what cards are gonna come out And yes that Himari is a double rare which I'm just like Fuck, but anyways, uh, my opponent did tell me that I made him sweat I made him nervous for a bit and I had three of the mochas on the field I still couldn't do it. I still, so we lost, I lost that round. Uh, I bought a deck box, which was really nice. I also bought a keychain, which was also really nice. And on top of that, we had to drop the third round because uh, our opponent didn't show up again. And then we just dropped because it was like, eh, whatever. It was still very fun. I hung out with a couple of my friends. Uh, we ate Roscoe's and then I went to go play a show that night because I'm a very busy person. Ah, whatever. Ed Slate has gone on for too long. Um, over here, you could watch the last This Week in White Shorts, which is another double episode. Over here, you could watch the Sneaker Bunko unboxing. I've unboxed four of those bad boys. And also, uh, I got the trial deck too, so I gotta somehow... I didn't do an unboxing for the trial deck because like I didn't feel like it. Over here, like on my chest area, it is the last discussion video, which I really need to make a new discussion video, which, uh... You know what? I'll get on it right now. But anyways, yeah, that was that's an event slate. Talked on a little too long. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.